All right, music fans, I'm just skipping the intro here. Uh, Randy Meisner has passed away at the age of 77. So this is breaking news, and it's super sad. Uh, he was 77 years old, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, according to what the Eagles have posted on their website. So at least the Eagles are recognizing Randy Meisner. He was retired from singing. He was a co-founder of the Eagles. Uh, he was also a co-founder of the band Poco. And I'm a big fan of Randy's work early on with Poco. And then he uh, rejoined Poco back in the late 80s and early 90s and went on tour. He was also part of a band called Black Tie, which you can go and check that out. And his solo material, one of my favorite Randy Meisner moments is the song Hearts on Fire. Uh, it's a song that he sounds great singing because you can just tell he's relaxed. He's not working under the tyrannical leadership uh, in the Eagles. And, uh, you know, he was the guy who said, I'm out. I'm all done. Can't do this anymore. Um, the lifestyle and uh, being in the spotlight, that wasn't his thing. Don Henley has said over the years that Randy Meisner had a lot of difficulty with fame. Uh, he contributed several of the rock band's most beloved albums, or he contributed two, including uh, the debut album Desperado on the Border. One of these nights in Hotel California, he also co-wrote the band's song Take It to the Limit, which he sang, and it was very frustrating because the band wanted him to sing that song uh, back in the late 70s, and the band pressured him so much that I think it just sort of broke his spirit. A difficult song to sing live, but again, you can go back before all of the auto-tune and all of the AI and dubbing in you know, the vocal from some other performance, and you can hear Randy singing that song, and he pretty much kills it every single time. But it's pretty difficult. It's almost like warming up a car and making sure that you're hitting on all cylinders. Nobody, by the way, really ended up replacing Randy Meisner. Tim Schmidt came in and did a fine job, but as far as vocal range, no, no. Uh, Tim Schmidt and uh, Vince Gill really don't hold a candle to Randy Meisner in his prime. Um, prior to his success with the Eagles, um, you know, hanging out with members of Buffalo Springfield and Rick Nelson and the Stone Canyon Band. Uh, Meisner appears on the Canyon Bands in concert at the Troubadour, which he actually co-produced, and Rudy the Fifth, and makes a cameo in Easy to Be Free, a documentary of the Stone Canyon's 1969 tour. So everybody wanted Randy Meisner to be in their band. Uh, Linda Ronstadt, I think, was hanging out with Randy. And, of course, his buddy uh, Bernie Ledin from the Flying Burrito Brothers. They basically tried to recruit all of these all-star players, and they had to have um, Randy, and they had to have Bernie. And so they made a pretty good band back uh, before the Eagles took off. But uh, Poco, big deal with Poco, I'm telling you. Um, a great bass player, too. Very underrated bass player, Randy Meisner, who unfortunately just passed away at the age of 77. So again, we lose another one, folks. Um, when we say that, you know, classic rock is going away, it, it literally is going away. And uh, it's sad times ahead. Uh, nobody out there in any tribute band I've ever seen um, has been able to do a Randy Meisner. Nobody can come close. The current band doesn't do it. Um, they just sing it in a lower key and they avoid all the difficult stuff that Randy had to do. And uh, it's really a testimony to how unique and how fantastic the guy was in his prime. You know, even up to the point where 
Um, he was doing this song, I believe, with Poco uh, back in 89 and 1990. And he still sounded great doing it then without the pressure and with guys who really appreciated uh, what he did in the Eagles and what he could still do. So again, another sad day in the history of rock music. It just continues. If you're a fan of the Eagles, even if you're not a fan of the Eagles, Randy Meisner, man, he's he was great. Um, he won't be forgotten. He's gone, but he won't be forgotten. All right. That's it, folks. Uh, talk to you soon.